Hi, this is Pranav Guha Thakurta from Edu TV, the first education channel that is uplifting the education in the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Middle East, and Africa. Today, we have got a very important personality. She doesn't need an introduction, but we will just give a small introduction. She is Dr. Preeti Oja, Principal, Delhi Public School, Dwarka Expressway, Gurugram. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ma'am, we would like to know from you how a passive and reluctant learner can be transformed into active and enthusiastic learner. Over to you, Dr. Preeti. Thank you so much. I think it's one of the most pertinent questions nowadays among the teacher's role as it is changing after the lockdown. Engaging a child specifically online and offline is becoming one of the issues rather than only content. So one has to realize that the whole flip should take place in student-centric teaching. One thing that one, all of us as educators have to uh, think around. Second is that we need to realize that every child has a specific kind of a skill and orientation through which they adopt a learning style. In a heterogeneous class, if the teacher is able to recognize the groups in which she needs to teach the children. But before even teaching, one has to realize the purpose for which the child has to learn. Children have become smarter and their uh, focus point has lessened as so many years and with the media exposure they have. If the child is interested in the purpose of the learning, the child will get glued to learning. For that, one has to realize how can she bring real world learning in the classroom, which resolves an issue, uh, agenda, or a purpose of the child's need as per their age. This will help the teacher to realize that any activity or any classroom pedagogy one needs to adopt in the class has to realize what that each child in the class can gain and how can they use it after 2 p.m. How can they use it in their general life? And that is not something one can just think one day in a classroom and do it. They have to have a very fine planning in the classroom, uh, before the classroom, during the classroom teaching and after the classroom teaching. Because pre-feedback, post-feedback has, has a very important need today when children are, as you can see, three days we have gone um, online classes, few days we had offline classes. We don't know when and what circumstances education system will need hybrid, blended, what kind of a teaching style. So accordingly, I feel that now we need to become smarter with the style of teaching in the classroom, which definitely has to be student-centric. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. Thank you. Not Thank only you. today, ma'am, you have been helping us since the inception of EduTV from 2017, yes. you had been helping us and yes. uh, advising the students, parents, school owners, yes. and all the stakeholders of education. Thank you so much, ma'am. I am Harshini Sudarshan. I am a grade 12 student studying at Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. For those of you who are watching, um, at EduTV, we are having um, a program where we conduct talks and interviews between students and university outreach heads in order to find out more about the colleges that we want to join in um, and what these colleges and universities are offering to us. So all of this between a university outreach head and a student in order to get, get answers to questions that every student like me has. So we're inviting all university um, outreach heads and students to tune into this. EduTV is also having a taster program, and some of you may know what it is. It is just to get a taste of college life. So students are taken on a visit to the university or the college premises to get a taste of what is actually college life in those three and four, three or four crucial college um, years of your life. So you get to know about placements, job opportunities, careers of the future, what that college or the university has to offer to you 
how campus life is in general. So that's what EduTV has to offer to us. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining with us.